All right, guys, so this is inverse function part two. Now, let's go ahead. We know that this is f at x, which is supposed to be your y, and then 3, 5 minus 2x, and then we said you swapped your x for y, so that will be my x, which will be 3, 5 minus 2y. Then after that, you solve for y. You try to make y the subject of the formula. Right. So what are you going to do here? For you to remove this 3, you divide by 3, right? Divide by 3, divide by 3. So you will have your x over 3 is equal to 5 minus 2y, all right? But then to make this positive, I'll take it that side and take this one this side, right? So I'll have 2y is equal to 5 minus x over 3. I hope that makes sense. And then now I'll divide um, by 2. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. Alright? So I'll have y is equal to 5 over 2 minus so it's like 2 over 1, right? Which is going to be 2x over 3. So therefore, your inverse function, inverse function is equal to 5 over 2, 2x over 3. So that is your answer there. I hope that is easy. So now let's have another one. If we have f at x is equal to x plus 3, let's, let's, let's put cube root there. So we know that this is y. So I'm just going to make it change it for x already, right? And then here, and then I'm going to change it for y because I know that the step will get to that anyway. And then, so for me to remove this now, remember, what do I do? I'll cube root it, isn't it? Cube root, cube root. This is going to cancel that, okay? So I'll have my cube x, which is... Um, y minus, uh, plus 3 and then now for me to remain with y I'll have minus 3 is equal to y so that would mean now this is the inverse function don't forget don't forget to change this to your inverse function so that means the inverse of that it would be x minus 3 and I hope you do see that I am making this root to be only applying to, to x, okay? Not everything. So this minus 3 is um, outside. Okay, then. Sharp.